All right, good morning guys. James here, aka The Pump, and today i got a water based review for you guys. So we're gonna just try to change up the review format um, for the first time, kind of test out something new real quick, and you guys just kind of see, hopefully maybe notice, but either way, let's go ahead and go for it. So today we'll be looking at a new product, completely new, and something a lot of you guys have been wondering about and really excited to hear about. And so let me present to you Shiner Gold Psycho Hold. So I had no idea this product was coming out, but thanks to Top Shelf Barber Supplies, and since they're going to start stocking it, they sent this one out. And so I'm just excited to try it because I just had no idea. I mean, I'm Psycho Hold, so I'm assuming it's like a much stronger hold. Um, if you guys remember the Shiner Gold review from a long time ago, almost like a year ago at this point, um, we go ahead, we went ahead and looked at their product. It was like a good product. I mean, now in retrospect, it's really hard to even for that product to even compete against what we have now uh, available on the market. So I'm really happy. I'm really uh, looking forward to them releasing a new product to compete against the market that is available today. So as you guys can see, it has a purple label. Kind of like the North Face, Ralph Lauren purple label, just kidding. But it has a purple label, uh, Shiner going on the face, Psycho Hold across the bottom, and the same classic styles of everything else. Directions and ingredients on the back. And this is a four ounce jar, I believe. Yes, it is. And opening it up, you have the classic color. And it still looks exactly the same. It has a much richer um, gold color than the Grant's um, products. And so that's a really nice, like really gold, not yellow, but like gold orangey like finish to it. So it also has a very similar texture to the one before, but it is thicker. You will be able to tell the difference. But even with this thickness, it feels actually very similar to uh, the Layrite um, Deluxe in terms of the texture, which is really good because I want a heavy hold product, but I don't want it to apply like a heavy hold product. So it has the texture of like Layrite Deluxe and like a midway between the Suavecito Original and Suavecito Firme. So it applies pretty alright, um, not bad at all. It does have like a drier texture to it. Um, that makes it feel cleaner, yet at the same time it makes it a little bit more difficult for me to style my hair with it. Like if you guys remember from like, let's say you're using a product like Admiral. Obviously, you guys already know it's water-based, but it also has a very like wet and slick texture when you apply it. This one, in comparison, has a much like drier um, application. This is the same difference you see between like a really greasy oil base and like a pretty waxy oil base. That's like the kind of difference I'm talking about. Kind of like a more like sticky and more dry type of texture to it. So that should be enough product, so we'll go ahead and start slicking back the hair. You can see it gets pretty easy to comb through after like the first stroke. Unless you have any tangles like I do right now. And so, with everything slicked back, I'll be right back. Okay, I need to call it done or else I'm going to be stuck in the bathroom for like the rest of the day trying to style this hair. So, that actually took pretty long. I mean, the downside of this product is that it's not a slick product. I mean, it's strong and stuff, but it's not a slick product. So because it doesn't do well to kind of keep my hair together and all the strands into like one nice uh, single flow it makes it really difficult for me to style my hair and stuff because strength is not something I need primarily to style my hair yeah I need it but like the main thing is to like slick back my hair in like one single flow so 
And that's out of the way. Let's go through the whole um, hair itself for now. So as you can tell, the sides are slicked down. Nice though. It, I mean, it's a strong product, something we expect. You have a nice straight part line. And the pump itself is at like an average height. And it's like not a great shape though. It's a good height and stuff, but there's a lot of, how should I say, like lumps and stuff. It's not like one nice spherical pump. There's like a lot of lumping going around and it's like all hilly and stuff like that. So that's the downside at least. But overall, like this product, it's strong. I mean, it's around, it's probably a notch down from Admiral Stronghold, um, around the same uh, arena as uh, Suavecito Firme. Um, the slickness is not that slick and is actually just probably similar to Suavecito Firme and stuff in that regards as well. The scent is actually a really nice like pina colada, pineapple-y type of smell. I do, if it, ha if it has to be fruity, I would definitely prefer this one over the other straight like grape or strawberries, just whatever. This is a nice smell. The consistency is similar to Layrite um, Deluxe, the original one. So it's pretty easy to apply. Um, however, it's not as easy as like Admiral or something, but in terms of like the traditional water-based pomades, like it's, it's relatively the same. It's especially good for like a heavy hold product. And so I'll come back later tonight or in the afternoon after the day and kind of also talk about the longevity or the endurance in the whole other product and how it kind of dealt um, throughout the whole day. And so, yeah, I mean, have a good day guys and I'll be back later. And now I'm back. So it's in the afternoon now, almost seven o'clock. Work is over, my day is over. And so it's time to give you guys an overview of how the pomade fared throughout the whole day. So let's look at my hair now. It looks pretty bad. I mean, I did restyle it like in the middle of the day, but I tried to keep that stuff to a minimum so you guys could kind of see kind of the most honest um, perspective of Shiner Gold Cycle Hold and whether or not it can fare throughout the whole day. So it was a rainy day, um, and all of a sudden switched to some really hot heat like after um, lunchtime. So obviously you can see clear sagging in my pump. I mean, we have it almost splitting down the middle. And I mean, to be honest, the shape wasn't that great from the beginning anyways, but right now I would honestly probably just put on a hat to go out for the day. So, in terms of endurance, like I would honestly expect more from a Shiner Gold Cycle Hold. Its good characteristics are that it has like a good scent, it does have a good hold, and if you don't like like a wet water-based pomade, this one is a slightly drier one with a mostly matte like look to it, or rather it doesn't add any um, extra shine to your hair. So however your hair is naturally, that's about the same amount of shine you'll get. But so overall, like Shiner Gold Cycle Hold is like an interesting pr product. I would say it's like a small step up from its uh, original, um, the Shiner Gold, just original ones that come in like the silver, just black label. And so, yeah, I mean, I mean, it's a good product, has some good characteristics. Um, you got like good hold. Um, it's not really that slick, but it's comes back in like the terms of the shine and like the hold really allows you to kind of slick down your sides and style your hair in a reasonable manner and so yeah but um you guys are interested also shiner gold the original is also a similar product i would also say solicito firme is also a similar product along with laywright deluxe and if you guys are looking for a traditional water base similar to Shiner Gold Cycle Hold, but softer and kind of um, softer in texture and a little wetter in appearance, then you got Admiral. So definitely like check out these other reviews. And other than that, have a good rest of your day and take care, guys.